Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have an exciting haul to share with you. It is a Rainbow Melts haul. This is the coffee sampler and I am uber excited to share this with you guys. Uh, first of all, Rainbow Melts love her wax. Crystal has amazing wax. Um, and second of all, coffee, like awesome. So happy that I'm seeing more vendors um, you know, creating things, even if it's like these like dedicated samplers. And for those of you who did, I, when I uploaded my video about what I've melted for the whole month of August, I had talked about super tarts about not, um, having coffee sampler. And then I had filmed that. And then a few days later I went into super tarts and was playing around with my cart and I'm like, Oh shoot, they have a coffee sampler. Like they're just individual cubes. But I put it in my description bar in that video saying that I, I realized that I was talking about how they don't have one, but I realized now that they have one, um, but I had seen it after and I don't edit my videos. So I'm just going to keep it real with you guys. So anyway, um, let me just get into this here, getting into the box. Now, I ordered two samplers because I love coffee so much. So the whole thing about this would be that I will melt one like this season and put the rest away and the nice thing about rainbow melts here I'll just hold that card um, this is rainbow melts card this is all the information you're probably ever gonna need on the bottom um, you rainbow melts is less is more I would actually compare to the strength to Ray rainbow melts to start um, super tarts I think that they are very comparable um, less is more absolutely I find myself chopping these I will be chopping a lot of all of these into smaller pieces um, so I can get more of it <laughs> and last longer that kind of thing but also to rainbow melts is one of those companies where for example, I had like a fizzy pops or a fizzy sampler that I'm tr I tried to get it through as much as I possibly could over the summer, but it's the one company where I'm like, well, if I have a couple left over, I'm totally fine with putting it back in the pile for next summer, knowing full well that it will not, it will retain its scent. It will not lose its scent. Um, it just cures even more because I've actually had uh, Rainbow Melts melts as old as three years old and it threw amazing. So she's one of the vendors I can say that does not lose scent. The scent retains itself throughout, well, throughout my time, like three years was the longest melt I ever had. So there you go. Um, anyway, rainbow, rainbow melts, smell the rainbow. Um, it's always nice. Here's two weeks here time, which is about right now anyway from, and the nice thing about rainbow melts as well, um, we will, you'll, you'll see it. Not only do they have her company name, the name of that particular wax melt, the scent note descriptions, and the pour date. It is beautiful. I know my friend Char has said that, Ramona, a few others that I follow um, say the same thing, but that's because if you order like we do, um, it's so nice to have all that on there. It's less stickers and less writing I have to do. Um, I, I appreciate it. Let's put it that way. It's a big appreciation. So, and Crystal is the owner and she is a lovely person. I do recommend following her Facebook page. She's got lots of like mystery bags and, uh, ready to ship real quick. And she does samplers. She's got advents coming up on um, October 1st. I'm so excited to get an advent from her this year. So anyway, moving on, this is a rainbow melts coffee sampler. I do appreciate the fact that I get, uh, there's not, none of my information's on there. Uh, I ordered it on the 27th, I guess. Anyway, Rainbow Melts, I love the invoice. I love the fact that it tells me exactly what I ordered. I did, like I said, order two samplers, but each of them were $35 US, and that included shipping. Now, I ordered two, so that was $70 US, and then I asked her, I said, well, what's the difference in shipping? Because shipping here to Canada can be really expensive. And so she just charged an extra $10 on top of that. So a grand total of $85 US, um, wait, 35, 70, 80, $80 US is what I paid for all of it, including shipping and everything. And may I first say that she packages everything so well. I've already taken out one, um, one of the samplers, but you know it's beautifully packaged it's i have never had issues um i love her tissue paper so she chose maple leaves which i am obviously partial to being that i'm canadian on on our freaking flag there's a maple leaf like can't get more canadian than that so 
And again, like I said, this was filled right up with a double the amount, but those are all the samplers. So there are different shapes. There are different shapes and there are scent, uh, sorry, scent shots and so on. But we'll get into the samples first. She sent over Sour Patch Kids, which are so awesome. Thank you. I love little candies. They're so good. So like little candies to eat later. That's super awesome. And then the first sample I received is Berry Fluff Cake, Sweet Berries, White Cake, Marshmallow Fluff. So I'll open that up. I've got, still got the head cold and I can't shake it. But I haven't lost my sense of smell, thank goodness. Mmm, look at that. Oh, I love this little guy. That is awesome. Um, I don't get white cake. I would say the marshmallow fluff and the sweet, the sweet berries is an absolute number one. And I would say that maybe some marshmallow fluff, but I don't find it to be super creamy. Like uh, the berries stand out very much so. So I would definitely say sweet berries is number one, maybe a little marshmallow fluff, and I don't get white cake, but you never know until you melt, right? And then next sample is peppered uh, woods, which is warm, spicy peppercorn, rich vanilla, and sandalwood. And there are two owls in here, so I will pull one out. That's what this one looks like, so cute. I love his little face. I am actually pleasantly surprised at how much I like this. I was nervous when I saw peppered, like uh, warm spicy peppercorn. Oh my God, it kind of almost borderlines chai. Because cardamom and the card, you know, all those, you know, heavier spices. My goodness, this is so good. And this little owl, I will cut in half um, and get two melts out of it. So total, I have two owls. I will likely get four melts out of that, which Again, I love when things can go a long way. So that's peppered woods, that's the sample. Sorry, my nose is running. Okay, we're gonna do the scent shots. I have four scent shots here. And we have Midnight Donut Shop, Strong Coffee and Sweet Fried Dough and Creamy Vanilla Glaze. Looks like little coffee grounds on it. Mmm. You know, this in, in I Love Toxic Earth by Beck Bathing Garden. This is a mild version of Toxic Earth. I, <laughs> there's a coffee note to that one. And I get that a little bit for that. And I love Toxic Earth. So to me, this is beautiful. I definitely get coffee. Um, I don't think I get sweet fried dough, but the vanilla glaze and the strong coffee. Strong coffee. This one stands out as a very strong coffee set. So I like that very much. Caffeine party. Oh my God, can you imagine? <laughs> Creamy vanilla coffee and a big slice of birthday cake. So this is a little spermy, <laughs> as I like to say. Mmm, okay. This is very creamy. Um... I get a little cake note, definitely cream, almost to me smells like custard, like a, you know, British style uh, custard after dinner, like a dessert type thing, dessert custard. It's very creamy. I get like a little bit of, of like white cake note, but a lot of that creamy vanilla. I really don't get any coffee off of this, but again, if that's the case in any of these with rainbow melts, it could come out over cure time. It could come out while I'm melting it. Who knows? But I will always come back to you guys and let you know. Fall in a mug, pumpkin spice latte, and cream and almond biscotti. Boo. <laughs> That's awesome. Mm. Okay, so number one, absolute number one here is the almond biscotti, which it to me smells like cherry. Um, a little bit different for me. Pumpkin spice latte, I get more of the spices. Um, then like nutmeg, cardamom, um, a little bit of cinnamon. I don't hate it, but I, I'm not a big fan of almonds or like, cause almond to me smells a lot like cherry. And if I want cherry, I'll, I'll order something with cherry, but I can see how this could be really enjoyable for a lot of people. The almond biscotti, of course, people like to eat biscottis with a nice cup of coffee. So I get that. I don't get a lot of coffee though from that. Oh, sorry my nose, you guys. 
I love you a latte, caramel latte, peppermint, and marshmallow. Now, I was super excited when I read this. I was like, oh yeah, that's so good. So this one is a red spermie. <laughs> hmm. Let's see, let's go to the bottom. Okay, so number one is peppermint. Most certainly I get the peppermint. Sorry, I'm trying to get you in focus. I don't necessarily get caramel, but I get peppermint and like a, like a creamy marshmallow scent. So I will say peppermint marshmallow. What I would really like to have seen is, there isn't one like this, but I would love to have seen a peppermint mocha, like a real thick, strong espresso with some peppermint, because they're both very strong, but they kind of fight and battle with each other, but they blend really nicely. Um, that would be awesome, but there wasn't one in the sampler, but that's okay. This one smells really good. I love peppermint. This will likely go in my bedroom probably for a melt. So that is all of the scent shots. Now we're gonna do some shapes here. So first of all, we have Cafe Gelato, Espresso Ice Cream, Sweet Waffle Cone, and Butter Brickle. And my friend Ramona, when she was hauling her, she's like, I love these little um, ice cream scoops. And I have to say, this is my first ice cream scoop that I've ever received. And they are absolutely adorable. So this reminds me of the espresso flake ice cream that I used to scoop out when I was in high school and I worked in the, in the corner grocery store. This smells awesome. There is a bit of butter brickle that does come out forward. Um, I'd say espresso ice cream and butter brickle. Waffle cone I don't get, and normally that's a very strong scent, but I don't get the waffle cone. Um, but butter brickle and espresso ice cream, like espresso flake, again, if you know what I'm talking about, it's a really nice, I love that. Between that and chocolate chip mint are my two favorite ice creams. This one here is bed and breakfast. This is cafe espresso and caramel and hot orange Danish. I don't normally or order a lot of things that are orange. So let's see here. Oh wow, okay, this smells like, I think someone has said this on their channel and I have to agree and I can't remember if it was Ramona or Char. Um, but I absolutely think this smells like ter Terry's Smashing Orange. Uh, I get one of those oranges, chocolate oranges, at the bottom of my stocking every year from Santa, ever since I was a child. It used to be an orange, but then I think when I was in high school, it kind of changed over to a, a Smashing Orange chocolate, which was awesome. Um, I like this. This The scent shots, I should have said, scent shots I will cut in half. Likely these shapes will get cut in half. This one will probably get cut into fours because it is uber huge. This is quite a large piece. Um, I like this one, but hot orange Danish with caramel is what I smell. I actually don't smell any cafe espresso. So um, not super strong on the coffee, but again, that might come out in uh, the future when I melt it, who knows, right? Oh my God, the next one is so cute. And I love her stickers for this too. Cool beans, iced coffee, whipped marshmallow, and caramel drizzle. And this is an actual latte. I love this. It's so cute. It's like a little smile. It's a smile in your cup. That's cute. Mmm. Okay. Iced coffee and caramel. So this is like a caramel iced coffee. Whipped marshmallow, yeah, again, marshmallows are really hard to, to kind of pinpoint in a scent because marshmallow gets used as a blender. So this has got a lot of caramel, but it's not super strong because uh, the coffee is also in there. So I look forward to melting that. The next one up is Nightcap, which is Starbucks coffee and coconut cream pie and whipped cream. This is cute. So cute, it's a dual layer slice again I can I will get two good melts off of this so look at that little pie slice so cute mmm I definitely get coconut cream and a, and a little bit of coffee again the whipping cream the whipped cream or the you know anything like that whipping cream or marshmallow fluff like I've already mentioned it does kind of just cream everything out but I would say I get coconut cream first and then I oh, my nose is itchy Coconut cream first and then Starbucks coffee. This is really lovely. 
All right, last two items. We have coffee shop, espresso coffee and vanilla bean marshmallow and butter cookies. And I love these cookie shapes and I love how she added sprinkles. There are two full cookie shapes. Um, I will get two melts out of each of these cookies, which means four melts. I think this is a great bang for your buck. I really feel that like her price point's awesome, even up here in Canada. I, I don't mind paying that her prices at all. Oh my goodness. Butter cookies, 100%, vanilla bean marshmallow, second, and then if there is any coffee, I'm likely to smell it when it comes out when, I, when melted. I don't smell it right now, but um, yes, butter cookies, vanilla bean marshmallow. This is yummy, and it looks like a real cookie. Oh my gosh. And I did order her cookie sampler like a while ago. I want to say it was during the winter months. And when I posted my picture on Instagram about them, they everyone thought they were real cookies. Like, she is very, very good at um, her shapes. And those cookies would have taken a long time to do. And I appreciate the time that it does take to do those. And it looked amazing. This one is the last one. It's called Got Coffee, Dark Roast Coffee, and Brown Sugar, and Graham Crackers, and Cream. All right, there are three of these coffee beans. Are they adorable? I will get two melts. I will split this in half because this is strong, which means I will get six melts out of these total. Okay, I definitely get the brown sugar first. No graham crackers whatsoever, and then a little bit of roasted coffee. If there's cream again, that's just a blender and just a mixer, but brown sugar, then a little, uh, little bit of roasted coffee. That's what I get, and these are so good. Oh my god, I, won't. I can't wait till next weekend now when I'm going to melt them. <laughs> I like to melt my coffee scents on weekends or days off. So, guys, that is my Rainbow Melts haul of the coffee sampler. Again, I ordered two samplers, and um, I love her samplers. I, there's not too many that I have missed out on. I quite enjoy them. I like the variety. I like trying new things as well. And um, yeah, so follow her in her Facebook group. And uh, she always posts, just like any other vendor, posts tons of information. Ready to ships, she'll post there. Mystery boxes, all that stuff. Sometimes she does free shipping. You know, it just, it's really great. So thank you to Crystal. And thank you guys very much for taking the time out to watch. As always, be safe, take care, and have fun. Bye, guys.